What's going on, it's Alex, and in today's video, I want to show you how to set up your Google Ads for your gutter business, uh, and we are just going to just jump right into it. So, there's a few things you need to keep in mind uh, if you do want to run Google Ads for your gutter business. Unless you're spending like a few hundred dollars per day, do not run ads to all these services, to all the services, right? That's the main thing. Second thing is, uh, especially well, when you're just starting out, you want to find which services have the most demand in your area. You want to choose the most profitable services to start, right? So I would just choose two, one or two of them. And you want to start with either just one or two locations. If you're not spending $100 per day or more, stick with one location and two services. Uh, so before jumping into how to build the ads, I will show you how to find uh, which of these uh, there is demand for. By the way, if you do need help with your gutter cleaning uh, Google Ads, you can or your gutter Google Ads, you can click the link down below. Book a call with me. I'm happy to take a look at your campaigns, answer any questions you might have, and even see if there's any opportunity for us to work together to grow your gutter business online. All right, so to actually find which of these have demand, you can use uh, the Google Google Ads keyword tool. I like to use SEMrush, and then I'll just actually show you guys how to do both. So the first thing you need is your location. In this case, I'll just use Chicago, right? So gutter cleaning in Chicago has about 590 searches every month. Uh, with, this doesn't really make sense, but the variations of it have about 1.7K, right? And then if we just search the next one, let's go with gutter installation in Chicago. All right, 1.7K. Gutter installation has about 370 total volume, right? So actually you can just write that down. Gutter cleaning was 1.7. Gutter installation was three. Okay, that's brutal, 170. Let's just do gutter, uh, gutter guards. Gutter guards, Chicago. And gutter guards is a, a significantly less, and then but even what about gutter repair? Twenty for gutter guards and gutter repair is about seven fifty. So twenty seven hundred and fifty. All right. So based on this, the highest demand ones are going to be gutter cleaning, right? And then gutter repair. Uh, and then you can also check this on Google Ads. So on Google Ads, you would just go to you would just click tools, right? This is just the, this is the set up the framework of the campaign to find exactly what to run. You choose the location. This is how you do your keyword research as well, which I'll show you in a moment, All right? Include, save, and then just do gutter. For example, gutter uh, cleaning, I think was one of them. All right, average monthly searches. It shows 1K to 10K. Uh, and then uh, another one was, for example, uh, gutter installation. Gutter installation installation all right get keywords and we have about probably the same 100 to 1k this is enough this is enough to uh, uh, build a campaign around and let's also check gutter repair okay gutter repair has a little bit more and a little bit of uh, and a less a less uh, cost per click so for the purpose of this video, let's just start out with uh, gutter repair, right? That would be one of the two services you want to choose. Uh, and then for the location being Chicago. So here's how you would set it up. You go back to home, you just click here, click campaign. And the campaign is going to be a Chicago campaign. Uh, in this case, right, you want sale or you want leads because you want people to fill out a form or call you, whatever. Click continue, right here, search campaign. And for this, you don't need to fill this out right now. You can set that up afterwards. And then the campaign name would probably just be, if you are just in one area, you can name the campaign wherever you want. But in this case, we'll just go with Chicago gutter. Continue, start new, All right? For a new campaign, you always want to focus on clicks, right? Only focus on conversions when you have 30 or more conversions in, in, in any 30 day period. If not, focus on clicks. If you're on a tight budget, set a maximum cost per click bid limit. And you would do that in that range of costs. But again, overall, just start with clicks and then click next. From here, opt out of these networks. These are very low quality networks. They will send you very low quality leads. And then uh, in location options, choose presence, people in or regularly in your included location. I have a video about this, but if you don't, you'll get a lot of search from people that are just broadly, broadly interested in Chicago and gutters. It's, they're not gonna be quality leads. They're not gonna be the leads that you want, right? Then click on other location, and then now click advanced search. So you have two options, location or radius. If you choose location, 
for example, and you can include Chicago, it's just gonna show you this area, but I feel like if you're gonna be running, if you're gonna be offering a gutter service, you can drive, I don't know, 20, 30 miles. So what I like to do is a radius, and you just click radius, you click Chicago, right? And then you just quick click a 30 mile radius, and then just go actually back to Chicago, Illinois. And there you go. So, I mean, if you're willing to drive to Naperville uh, or any of these areas, you can just add whatever radius you want. For the purpose of this video, we'll just click save. And then now you have languages, English. This is something you would add after. This is something you would add after. And one thing you also want to change is, of course, what Google thinks is the best performing ad might not be what you think is the best performing ad. So click do not optimize, rotate ads indefinitely. This way you have full control over the ads and you can actually choose uh, which ads are performing best based on metrics that are most important to you, not Google. Right, uh, and then just click next. You can skip this because Google is just not gonna help you out with that. Now this is the ad group. This ad group is where you would start structuring your campaign. And I do believe we went with gutter repair, right? So the ad group title would be gutter repair. If you had another ad group, if you did also want to uh, target gutter uh, cleaning in Chicago, right? You would then just create a gutter cleaning um, ad group. But this is just gonna be gutter repair, right? And it's already in our Chicago campaign. So there's no need to add that. Now, this is where you want to add your keywords. And of course you would add, you know, obviously gutter repair. But let me show you really quickly how to do keyword research for your gutter repair ads. Okay, so how to do uh, keyword research for your gutter, any of your gutter uh, campaigns, is go back to Google Ads homepage here, click on tools. And the keyword thing is gonna show up right here. Click on discover new keywords. Again, go back and choose your location, which we have as Chicago. You can just go super broad if you want, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just choose Chicago. And then now, just add gutter cleaning. These are gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, these are gonna be pretty straightforward keywords. It was, no, it was gutter repair, sorry guys. Just add gutter repair, right? I click on get results. Now, of course, if you were had a more broad campaign, you would export this, but a lot of this, a lot of, for this specific video, I would just, uh, this specific service, you can just add the keywords directly to your campaign. So take gutter repair near me, right? Add it to here, we have gutter repair, right? Gutter repair near me. Uh, gutter, rain gutter repair, right? You would just add this into your campaign. What else would we have? Um, there is a lot of gutter cleaning and repair, but you would wanna make that a different, um, you wanna make that a different uh, ad group, right? That's something you could target, target just on your own. Gutter repair cost, that might make sense, although that's people that are just maybe just kicking some tires. Uh, and then just you could go with uh, gutter repair services near me, right? So, I mean, of course you would wanna add maybe 10 keywords if, there, if there's enough, uh, but if not, this is fine. And always make sure you set your keywords to phrase match to start. If not, you'll show up a lot for like gutter, how to do gutter repair by myself or gutter repair job, stuff like that. So you can do this afterwards in the actual keyword section, but there's so few keywords here that you can just add the quotes to set them as uh, a phrase match keyword. That way Google can tar uh, has tighter targeting and it just makes sense for the people you wanna get your ad in front of, right? Now from there, once you have the keywords, this is when you start building out the ads. And now this is where you add your website and then you would, of course, you could just go, for example, HTTPS equals slash slash gutters.com. Always thought the display paths you would have, for example, Chicago, gutter repair, right? Doing gutter repair, I keep forgetting, yes. So this way, when someone does see it, it's already relevant to exactly the service they're looking for. And now you just wanna start going through and adding the headlines. I like to pin headlines and split test them, uh, but that's a bit of a, it's more of a, an advanced strategy. For new campaigns, you don't necessarily need to do this, but you always wanna mention the service and the area, right? Gutter repair in Chicago, right? Uh, we'll fix your Chicago gutters. Does that work? Yes. Uh, broken gutters. You can even say damaged or broken gutters. You could go with Chicago gutter repair experts. Does this fit? No, it doesn't. Gutter repair pros. Another thing you can always do is just go to Google and go gutter repair Chicago and see what your competitors are doing. Most of the time they're bad, but there can be some great, uh, yeah, these are not great. Uh, there can be some good options there. Uh, for example, you could also just go with, that one wasn't bad, right? Affordable gutter repairs. And then you could go with something like, uh, if you can offer same day or same week gutter 
repairs, right? Just like that. Uh, and then we have Chicago mentioned. We've got a repair, right? This is a great. This is a great looking ad. And you just scroll down to the description. And again, you'd want to copy this ad a few times, split test it, split test all the different uh, variations of titles. But you could just say broken or damaged gutters in Chicago, right? We are your local gutter repair experts. Call today, right? And then something will be out this week to fix your gutters in Chicago. before the next storm. Easily book, no, that's not gonna fit, but you could just say book online through a call to action. There you go. Of course, if you can, right, this, is ad, this ad is looking great. And of course, if you can, you're gonna wanna add your business name and you also wanna add site links. And these are, we don't have any in the asset library yet, but a site link is if you just did go through, right? You could say, for example, uh, check our reviews. Right, and you could write something like, um, you don't have to write this, but you could say, uh, see what past clients had to say. And here you would link to a, a review page on your site, right? And you could say, book gutter repair, right? And then you would link to a gutter, a book of gutter repair page on your site, whether it's contact or booking page, whatever. Right, you definitely want those because these look fantastic. A lot of people don't put them in. Uh, and then from there, you would want to add those. Uh, you would want to add calls as well, right? You want to go through and add whatever assets you can. Of course, add the call, uh, have the phone number, lead form if you can, if that makes sense. Uh, but that's really about it for how to structure the ad, and that is how you would get the ad up and running. Um, it's, it's fairly straightforward, right? Now, would this ad on its own perform very well? Maybe, it depends on your website, depends on a whole lot of other factors. These ads do need kind of daily checking for a long time. Uh, but this is just really how to get started setting up your Google ads. And then all of this, of course, let me just uh, go through and publish it because when you do click on through, you can set a daily budget, right? Uh, just 0.01 .01 for the purpose of this video. Don't listen to this information. What Google says there is not at all accurate. And now let's publish a campaign and I'll show you actually how to easily uh, add different ad groups to your campaign. It wants you to set up a Google tag, which you would want to set up to track conversions. All right, so now the campaign is live, right? So choose the right campaign, which was Chicago gutters. And then now you've got a repair. So now you want to create different campaigns for your different, uh, or different ad groups, sorry, for your different services. So for example, if you did want to go ahead and do a uh, gutter installation, right? You just go here, you click new ad group, right? This is going to load up load into the ad group and this ad group would be gutter installation. Now you would go through and do the whole same thing, right? You do the same thing all over again. To find the keywords, you just go back to your keyword tool. You would add gutter installation. And then you would fill out, you would choose the right keywords. You would go fill out the ad, uh, publish it, everything like that, right? And then here you have a bunch of the gutter uh, installation keywords that you could then add to the uh, ad group, to the actual ad, uh, fill everything out and get it live. Uh, it's, I hope that was straightforward enough for you guys. By the way, if you made it this far, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you need help with your Google Ads campaigns for your gutter business, you can click the link down below, book a call with me. I'm happy to take a look at your campaigns, uh, answer any questions you might have and see if there's any opportunity to work together to grow your gutter business online. As always, you guys, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.